Good morning, all. Once again, at this time, will Sergeant Biondo and Sergeant Hope please start their recordings? DC recording started. Call recording started. Thank you. And good morning, everybody. And welcome to today's remote New York City Council hearing of the Committee on Governmental Operations. At this time, would all panelists please turn on their video? Once again, at this time, would all panelists please turn on their video? To minimize disruption, please place electronic devices on vibrate or silent mode. Thank you for your cooperation. We are ready to begin. Let me gavel in. Good morning, I'm Council Member Fernando Caprera, Chair of the Committee on Government Operation. I'm pleased to be joined together by my colleagues, Jaeger, Kalos, Perkins, Baron, Carnegie, Godinchek, and Power. Today, the committee will hold a vote on two pieces of legislation that will improve public, public access to the laws and rules of the city and improve the process of the city agency rulemaking. Proposed introduction 1874A, sponsored by Council Member Chin, will permit individuals to sign up to receive notification from the city record online crawl, the online version of the official newspaper for the city government notice. Currently, crawl allows individuals to sign up to receive an email notification whenever a city agency publishes a notice in the city record regarding an upcoming agency action, such as public hearing or the adoption of a new rule. Individuals can select which kinds of agency actions they would like to get notifications for. Proposed introduction 1874A will codify and expand upon crawl existing notification system. Under this bill, individuals could limit their notification to items affecting their selected community board district. This will ensure that individuals only receive notification on the item most relevant to them. In addition, individuals will be able to see a brief description of each agency as they are signing up to receive notification, which will help them select the right agency. Proposed introduction 1870AA, sponsored by Councilmember Powell's Lament the City Administrative Procedure Act, or CAPA. Currently, because the rulemaking process on the CAPA can take a long time, local laws often include a provision that authorizes the ministry, the ministry agency to start the rulemaking process and adopt any necessary rules before the law goes into effect, which helps ensure that the rules and local law can take effect simultaneously. This bill will create a default rule allowing this early rulemaking and therefore eliminate the need for a specific provision in individual local law. This bill will also add a provision to clarify any rule adopted pursuant to a local law that has not yet gone into effect, may not become effective until the effective day of the local law. I would, I would like to thank my colleagues Councilmember Chin and Powers for their leadership on this bill. I also want to thank our committee staff, CJ Murray, Emily Forjom, Elizabeth Cronk, and Sebastian Bacci for their work on this. And finally, I want to thank my legislator director, Claire Michael Bain. I will now turn it over to the clerk to call the roll. Good morning. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on governmental operations. Both items are coupled. Chair Cabrera. I vote aye. Kalos. Uh, permission to explain my vote ever so briefly. Absolutely. I just wanted to uh, speak in favor of introduction 1874A. Uh, the city record is the most important newspaper in the city of New York that no one's ever heard of. It comes out every single weekday. And it's the way the city will tell you whether or not they're going to bulldoze your house to build an intergalactic highway. Uh, and uh, it's the equivalent of having it had stored in Alpha Centauri. For those of you who wonder what I am talking about, it's Douglas Adams and the Hitchhiker's Guide, one of my favorite books. Uh, and so uh, last term, we were able to put the city record online. 
but it is still very dense. Uh, the system does allow for people to subscribe to specific notices. Uh, this legislation, which is uh, introduced by Council Member Chin, which I'm a co-prime sponsor, uh, will codify the notification requirement and make it easier for people to keep track of the things that matter to them. So I'm uh, happy to vote in favor of that, as well as introduction 1878A, uh, authored by Council Member Powers. Thank you. Myself. Yes. Thank you. Perkins. I I don't know. Powers. I and all. Thank you to the chair. Jaeger. Vote I on eighteen seventy four and I vote no on eighteen seventy eight. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. By a vote of five in the affirmative, excuse me. <laughs> By a vote of six in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, introduction 878 is adopted by the committee. And with the vote of five in the affirmative, one in the negative, and no abstentions, introduction 1874A is adopted by the committee as well. Well, thank you so much. And with that, we conclude uh, this hearing. Is both.